the Super Bowl is America's biggest holiday. I mean, I think it's the 4th of July, but after the 4th of July, the Super Bowl is America's biggest holiday. Maybe Christmas or Halloween or Thanksgiving first, but come on. At least in wintertime, after Christmas, the Super Bowl is America's biggest holiday. In this video, I want to show you how we filmed a Super Bowl commercial with the Black Magic 6K Cinema full, full, full frame. I got that down finally. So let's just jump into it. So I was talking to a dance studio uh, instructor who owns her own Zumba studio. They teach Zumba to people. They do dance to and Zumba to do cardio to get people in shape. And I've worked with them before. They create lots of videos. It's easy to create videos for them because they are a bunch of beautiful women and all they do is dance and they uh, have like a, a lot of Latino women in there and they look amazing and they just put those videos out and people see it and they're like, either they want to watch the video all the way to the end or they say, I want to look like that. So I want to go to their studio. I want to take Zumba. I want to dance. Dancing's fun. Dancing makes me feel good. I feel good. I get in shape. I want to pay money to the go to this studio. So it's easy to make videos for them. So I wanted to make it difficult for myself to create something original for them. And now I was like, hey, if we want to create a commercial to launch at Super Bowl, how do we make this different? How do we make this fun? How do we ensure that someone's going to watch this and come to the class, get some new members to come to the class? And I want to happily say that we achieved it. I think they have six new, six, seven new, uh, um, new people that came to the uh, class after the Super Bowl commercial, which we launched a few days ago. So what was my what was my way of creating something that would do well on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all like that, or predominantly on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok? We weren't really focusing on YouTube for this one. YouTube, I would focus more long-term, like asking the, the instructor Qs and As, what type of people come, and then focusing on their stories. That is not what we were doing for this one. So for this one, I wanted to get someone's attention right off the bat create a really engaging hook. So the hook or the title was, what if Sofia Vergara, if you don't know who Sofia Vergara is, Sofia Vergara is a beautiful actress um, and she has a new show that is on Netflix, I believe, Griselda, um, but she's been in like lots of shows. It, she's very well known. She's again, beautiful, very, very beautiful. So I was using her name because she just released her new show on Netflix. What if Sofia Vergara was my instructor? So that immediately catches someone's attention because they're wondering, is Sofia Vergara really teaching in San Diego at this Zumba studio? Or is this probably a gimmick? But I still want to know what this gimmick is about. If they're talking about Sofia Vergara, is this someone that looks like Sofia Vergara? Is this someone making fun of Sofia Vergara? What is this? Let me, let me learn more about this. So I knew that the dance instructor was having one of her classes outdoors in San Diego on a Saturday morning. So what we wanted to do is film obviously a little bit of footage from that actual dancing, from the actual class, but I wanted to get two people who may not you know, belong to a class like that. So I got two guys because everybody kind of thinks only women go to that to that kind of dancing. And usually there's only a couple men in, men there. It's not a lot of guys there. So that right off the bat, Sofia Vergara, the guys introducing themselves in the video, all this I thought would build a lot of anticipation, suspension, people wanting to see um, what's what's going on. Is this real? Is or Are they joking? So all we did was we went to a park where there, where there was a dance class and I had these two gentlemen, both um, Rob and Max. Rob is actually, he got into Zumba and then became an instructor. So he's currently an instructor, but he did get into Zumba himself after he said um, the Marines, after he put on some weight, after he got out of the Marines, he wanted to get in shape and he decided to take Zumba. So we're parked here and I just want them to get in a little conversation saying, um, Rob saying like, hey, my teacher is Sofia Vergara. Max is like, no, nah, I don't really trust you on that. Are you sure? He's like, it is. Come to this. Come to the next class and see for yourself, bro. It's really Sofia Vergara. And Matt, they're going back and forth. And that conflict is building up the tension till we go to the uh, class. So let me show you the commercial real quick. Bro, you won't believe who's my Zumba instructor. Who? Guess. It's someone famous? Sofia Vergara. What? This Sofia, the famous actress? Yeah, bro. Come with me to the next class and you'll see. You're serious? Yeah, but don't like like a groovy. Be cool. Hey, you made it. <laughs> Hard to miss Sofia teaching. I don't blame you. Let's go. 
Bro, there she is. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? Where? Right there, teaching. But, but be cool, just dance. That's not, whatever. Is that Method Man? All right, so you saw the commercial and you saw the ending, right? Make sure you saw you watched the ending because the ending is kind of funny and important too because we shot several different endings. But back to this. There was no memorization done, obviously. We wanted to do this quickly. We had a few days to prepare and then shoot and then edit it within under 24 hours. So I had them look at the lines real quick, make sure they're comfortable with it. And then I would read it to them and they'd repeat it back, read it to them, repeat it back so that we can film every single thing of this commercial in one hour. And I thought that was pretty badass. How we can edit it. I edited it in one hour too, but I shot it in an hour too. So under an hour. So, I mean, come on, if I can do it and I'm not the greatest, I'm not the best, you can do it too. A lot of you guys are so talented. Um, you know more about cameras and stuff than I do. So my, I'm basically saying if I can do it, you can do it too. Anyone can do it. It just requires a little bit of effort, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of mental power. So what we did, I'm reading them the lines. You can see some behind the scenes taken by my, Max's wife, Alala. Thank you, Alala June, for doing the behind the scenes. I have a mic set up. I have Mario helping me with the lines or with the diffusion, the reflector, so that we don't get direct sunlight on them. I don't like direct sunlight. I like the sun coming in from behind them, but I don't want it to be harsh on them, not all the time. So that's what I wanted Mario to make, to focus on primarily, to get that diffusion so that they look good. But I wanted to get single shots of each of them. I got a wide shot to start them off when they're introducing each other, and they went back and forth with their lines. Um, once we got that shot, we did a few takes. Then we got them basically, they're changing their shirt as if they're meeting each other for the first time on the day of the the, the class. So Rob is telling Max, hey, glad you came. And they're like, let's, let's go to the class. So then we go up to the class and this was a little challenging to shoot because of how harsh the light was. And we wanted to make it look like they were in the class, which is a little further up. But I didn't want them there because the people there were very loud and they're doing a little photo shoot. I didn't want to interfere with that. And we had soccer going on, lacrosse, soccer, baseball behind them. All this made it a little bit more difficult. I wasn't really happy with the harsh light coming in because 13 stops in dynamic range is still not enough, even though we have that with this camera, still not enough. So then what we did was I got Mario to bring the reflector closer so that the reflector was giving a little bit of bounce back. I don't know if we got behind, this, behind the uh, scenes of that, but basically now the reflector is where the camera is and the reflector is bouncing some light back into their faces so it opens up their shadows a little bit. And then I just got four or five angles, but I only ended up using two and that was it. That's all I wanted to get. And then the rest of it is without audio. We're shooting from behind. Um, to get the dance teacher, who is obviously not Sofia Vergara. She's more beautiful than Sofia Vergara, in my opinion, but it's not Sofia Vergara. Obviously, if you think that, you're racist. You should get canceled, right? So that was the point. So for it to be so obvious, it's not Sofia Vergara. And that was that was the funny part of it. That was what what ended the joke and was like, it's Sofia, it's Sofia, is it? It's not it's Sofia, it's Sofia, is it? Are you sure it's Sofia? Boom, it's not Sofia, but it's someone else teaching the class you should still come to the class and then i wanted to end it i always like to end it with a little extra punch so the extra punch was one of the one of the other students says hey is that roger fetter referring to max which is like kind of looks like roger fetter and then we did a second one let me show you the second one that i actually got from rob so rob was like hey some people think i look like method man so we did that and then we did it with the founder of Zumba. We did that as well. I just didn't think it is as funny. Our demographics are not only going to be people who are familiar with Zumba. So because of that, if we use this gentleman, uh, Benny, Benny something, sorry, I don't, I don't remember his name. If we use this gentleman, the average person might not know who he is. Average person might not Google it. But the average person is more likely to know Roger Federer, the famous tennis player, or Method Man of the Wu-Tang Clan, one of our pioneers of hip hop, in my opinion, I love Method Man. So I thought we're gonna use two versions. We'll use the Method Man and we'll use the Roger Federer one. 
And we only want to obviously use one of those videos for the Super Bowl. The other one will launch in a few days so that we have two different types of endings. And that's more inclination, more of a push for someone like, hey, what does the second version have that the first one didn't have? Watch it to find out. So now we've got, we got two videos, two commercials to use for you. And depending on how this does, I thought maybe we can make this into a series now. So someone goes, two new people come to the class and say, hey, is is this uh, our, does our teacher, is that Jennifer Lopez? Is, our, is Jennifer Lopez teaching our class? Is Jennifer Lopez teaching Zumba? And then so on. And then maybe we can make it a little funnier without being offensive, without getting in the cancel category, all that stuff. So that's our goal. That's what we wanted to do. Make it funny, make it quick, make it witty, make it fun. Hopefully not offensive. Hopefully there's nothing in there that someone's going to offend, get offended about. I'd say 20% of the videos I've made, more than that, probably 30, 40% of the fun videos I've ever made in my life have upset certain people. Certain people have complained. Certain people have sent hate mail. Certain people have said you should get canceled. You should get killed. You should just, it's just horrible. So I don't, I don't want to go in that category. I don't want to jump into there by offending people. Um, you shouldn't be hurting people anyway. We should try to be nice, try to be empathetic, but humor can be, can be on that borderline, but I don't think it is here. I know some people might say calling another um, woman Sophia is offensive, but I checked with the instructor Ninfa and she was cool with it. She thought it's funny. So if she's not offended, then you don't have any right to be offended on her behalf because that's just crazy. You cannot be offended on people's behalf. That's nuts. If the person isn't offended, you can't be offended. That's how I feel. And if you don't think I'm right, I'm offended. Yeah, what are you going to do with that? Now, going back to the black magic beautiful camera performed great the 13 stops kind of came in handy i would have loved 15 stops meaning i would have probably loved to shoot with a red komodo or a c70 um but i don't think the quality with the c70 looks as cinematic as it does maybe it does i don't know i, I still after all these times i still think the black magic looks a little better than the c70 in terms of cinematicness whatever that is in terms of dynamic range i, I do think the c70 has the edge and i think the red komodo has the edge on that I do love shooting raw. I do love just increasing that ISO when we need to. Um, if you guys want any behind the scenes, not behind the scenes, if you guys want any actual black magic footage, um, I think it's, I can upload it for you guys. I just need you guys to comment so I know, so I'm not wasting my time uploading this. Look, look how great that looks. Look, look how great that looks. That looks absolutely beautiful. And if we go watch. So this is just lit with the reflector. So the sun's coming right into her. It's harsh. The reflector's coming up, creating that, that soft, beautiful quality of light right there. And if we go over here, I can go highlight recovery. I shot it at 200 ISO because it was still bright. My ND filter wasn't really enough. If we go down to one, that's too much. So we'd probably go down to here. Maybe we'll try 160. Let's see what see. Still looks good. Maybe take the saturation down a little bit. Anyways, you guys know what the Black Magic does. This was a real life case, real life commercial I shot with. Um, if you guys want anything, please write in the comments below. Watch as much of it as possible so I know you guys like the video. Um, if I'm mumbling too long, I apologize. Just send me hate mail, write hate, hateful comments. Be like, you talk too much, bro. Just trying to get on the algorithm, man. I'm trying to get the algorithm to like the video. You got to do the 12 minutes so the algorithm gets you. I have a little timer going on right now. I just hit 13 minutes, but I'm going to cut some stuff so it'll probably be less than 13 minutes. I am rambling. See you later.